We have a problem in our household and I have a solution to fix it. The problem is at our front door, the entryway to our house. When the wife and the kids come home, a lot of the bags, purses, backpacks get dropped in the entryway and I got a little one who's 17 months old, likes to go over there and dig into things, pull stuff out of the bags, get everywhere. And so it's been driving me nuts. And today I'm gonna fix that. All right, to solve this problem, I went to my local hardware store and picked up a nice piece of pine it was six foot long, five and a half inches wide, and three quarter inches thick. I already cut it down to my length, which is 54 inches, and it's gonna fit my space very nicely. And so what we're gonna do is just pretty much attach some hooks to this, so that way when people come walking in the door, they hang stuff up, keep it off the ground, and keep it out of the reach of some 17 month old little kid's hands. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of a decorative element to this. You don't have to do this, it's all personal preference, but I'm gonna be doing it because it's gonna be matching Another piece that's kind of close by, which is my mail shelf. If you remember way back when, when I made that, I'll put a little video clip here so you can see that. And that's this little detail right here, nice round over with a little step up on it, which is nice. If you don't have a router bit or a fancy router, which is not really fancy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you could just take a sandy block and just round over that edge, or if you leave it square, it's all personal preference, which is nice. That's complete. That's how it turned out great. See there. And all we have to do is now sand it. Now it's time for stain, and yes, I'm gonna be using the same stain, the same dark ebony stain that I've, I think I've used in pretty much all my videos, but it matches everything in my house, and so that's what I'm gonna use. finish on here a little bit more of a shine than I like and I think I just got to work on my finishing skills or my finishing technique I've been using the spray stuff that's in the aerosol can just, uh, not sold on it yet I'm gonna have to figure something else out uh, just because it kind of leaves it all splotchy and whatnot uh, anyways so we're gonna go ahead and put some of these bad boy hooks on here single hooks nice uh, satin I guess you would call it a finish and I went ahead and put one on uh, this is eight inches in from the end and I'm centering it in the width here so we got three more to put on. Let's go ahead and do that. are all mounted so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these hooks off again I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the center of this and that's gonna be the hole that I use to screw this to the wall and that way when I put the hooks back on it'll cover the hole and you won't see any screw holes or screw heads in the surface of this because you want to kind of keep it clean and hide that stuff so that's a way to hide it All right, we're here at the entry to the house and I already got my anchors in the wall. Luckily, I was able to at least get one uh, stud on this. Uh, in the other three locations, I have the plastic wall anchors. So we're gonna get ready to hang this. All right, so with it attached to the wall, now I can go ahead and put the hook back on and I'll cover up that screw so that you won't see any screws here on the surface of this. Thank you. 
Simple and easy project. Uh, I like the way it turned out. I think I spent about under 20 bucks for this. All you need is a board and some hooks. Really don't need any big tools for this. Just a drill and some sandpaper to really sand it down. Uh, well, another thing with this, you can either put it in the entry like I did, or you can put these in your kids' room where they can hang their coats on. You can put it in a garage to hang stuff up out get it off the floor. So there's uh, many, many uses for this project. All right, so a couple housekeeping items here. I am uh, currently in the process of updating my website. I got it pretty much all set up now. I'm just kind of tweaking things as I go. Got a new layout, so I'll be posting my videos in a little bit more detailed description on what I did and things I learned and all that fun stuff. And I'll be posting other DIY things that you don't see here on YouTube. So go ahead and check that out. And I am on Instagram now, at Wildman Project. I'll leave the link down there in the description. You can follow me on there. I'm going to try to keep it different from Facebook and Instagram. But that way I don't have the same content on both things and get you bored of you with whatnot. So I'm going to keep it separate. I'm going to be posting pictures of projects that I'm working on. Uh, that kind of throughout the process, stuff that I find around. Uh, I work in the construction industry, so if I find something cool out on a job site, I'll take a picture of it and show you guys. Uh, also, all that fun stuff. So, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.